Hello again my friends, welcome back to another First Impressions playthrough. Today we're going to check out Model Kit Simulator VR. I expect it to be pretty self-explanatory by how it looks on the Steam page, and it's just a dollar. So let's check it out. Alright, here we are, loaded up pretty fast, we got our little workbench here. Controls, based on index controllers, grip, grab objects. Oh, and the grabbing is very sensitive. I accidentally grabbed the clipboard by just barely... Okay. Uh, trigger. Cut when holding the cutter. Touchpad to teleport. Left analog stick. Snap turn. Instructions. Pick a box and place on specified area. Okay. <laughs> That's the area. That's a box. Okay. Two. Cut the pieces off from runners if necessary then paint, thin marker, or marker, dip the pen tip to change color, all right, assemble pieces, let go of grip to snap, pretty straightforward it seems, oh we got a workshop, and our lovely living space here, okay very limited room to teleport here, you can't exactly free teleport, but looks like we can Appreciate models on our shelf. And we got our little uh, workstation here. Okay, so we need to pick a model. Which one should it be? This looks like a tank with treads. This is a building. This is uh, some kind of a alien, I guess. Hmm. Well, let's start with this one. Okay, <laughs> it just uh, auto-populated in front of me. Sounds like there's no music or sound effects in the game, so I'll put some music in uh, the video th through the magic of editing. For your pleasure, of course. So, this is obviously a car. Let's get snapping. All right. Yeah, no sound effects at all, unfortunately. That would sure be nice, but... We carry on regardless. Steering wheel. Cute. Snip, snip, snip. Alright. Um... Okay, it pops on there. Looks like we still have some sticks sticking up. Or I suppose runners are what they're called. Maybe this guy will do the trick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take the file and just gingerly tap to go away. Okay. <laughs> like a feather. Like a very light feather. The runners disappear. Uh, right, this came unattached, so... Okay, runner. Okay. Oops. Alright. Pieces filed down. Alright, so painting time I suppose, although the question is do we paint before we assemble or after? The last time I assembled models was decades ago, I can barely remember it. Um, let's assemble first and then paint, let's see how that goes. So this is the car, got a chair obviously. Alright, yeah, let go and it snaps into place. Uh, door, boom, door, chair, must be an engine, engine in the front, yeah, okay. <laughs> Everything just snaps on like so. Wheels. Oh, it looks like it has to be a specific spot, okay, there, 
steering wheel. All right, boom, we got a car. All right, painting time. Hmm, let's start with the big marker and let's, uh, let's make the Joker mobile. Let's go maroon purple. Uh, it's interesting, I can see, <laughs> depending on the which piece it originally was, the painting is applied differently. You can see it's sort of thin and sparse and then it, boom, goes into a big brush when we leave the door. That's interesting. So painting is a little uneven. Oops, <laughs> sensitive grip. Look here. Yeah, you can see the difference between where the trunk is and the rest of the car. I mean, <laughs> I'm being really picky here. I mean, the painting works. I'm just noticing it's applied in different ways depending on the piece. Oops. Wow, the grip is really sensitive. I gotta keep my painting hand wide open, otherwise it'll, the slightest close of hand will grab it. Well, I feel like so far this is spot on with the feeling of model kits. Obviously it's overly simplified. You don't glue pieces together and so on, but I feel like the spirit of it is here. You know, just take your time, enjoy the process. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on. All right, keep working on our Joker mobile here. Speaking of the Joker, I noticed that they're working on a new Batman movie. And uh, maybe I'm just getting old, but I don't know. It's like, how many times can you reboot Batman, you know? <laughs> like, I really enjoyed the Christopher Nolan trilogy. I thought that was pretty cool. And I guess if they, you know, put a unique spin on it, it could be fresh and new again. But it's like, how much Batman do we really need, you know? But maybe I'm just an old fart. <laughs> maybe I'm just getting old and grouchy. Who knows? Yeah, more spotty painting on the front here compared to the sides. So I don't really know 3D modeling all that well, but I'm guessing there's something about the model, the difference in the pieces that's applying the paint differently. Joker Mobile. And I guess if we're gonna go for um, the 60s TV Joker, we need to add some green, right? So finish up the sides here. Yeah, it takes a while to do this door because Body, so you gotta do small areas. All right, this being our first model, I might just call this good enough here. I mean, the Joker mobile can be a little messy, right? Isn't that the spirit of, you know, his ragtag team of henchmen or like, you know, like they throw together junk cars and the paint job isn't so good. So, I guess I shouldn't be too picky with the paint job. Okay, yeah, so now let's do some green. Let's try the small pen here. Uh, yeah, bright green. Yeah, the paint's on top, nice. This is like the Joker's henchmen are just spray painting the car, you know? All crappy-like. Yeah, I dig it. Oops. Okay. 
Oh, this is turning out to be masterful. Masterful. Uh, tires should be filled in, I think. We'll probably skip the interior for now. <laughs> yeah, that, that grip is sensitive. I gotta keep my hand wide open, otherwise my right hand grabs it. Okay, this is a little... yeah, those little... Those little cave areas... Those little cave walls are... Tricky to get... Yeah, whatever. We'll keep the messy henchman theme going here. Okay. <laughs> Just race to the finish line. It'd be nice if there was a wider brush or some, like a deeper brush. It'd be so much easier to get these uh, little holes here. Those sides in the holes are tricky to get. All right, good enough for our first car. Yeah, I'm extremely proud. Masterpiece. And we got a turntable, it looks like, to appreciate our creation. Yeah. Beautiful. Now that we've appreciated it, I wonder, can we put it on the shelf here? I do our collection? Yeah. <laughs> Plop. Cool. Our collection begins. So that was the starter car. You got three more here. What's this workshop about? Okay, we're in the holodeck here. Browse workshop, upload your FBX. Okay, it looks like um, you can create 3D models and upload to the Steam workshop. That's pretty cool. Browse Workshop, we've got three here that people have uploaded. Knight Statue, Simple Box, Test. Oh, the test was the car. Well, Knight Statue, let's try that. Add, a lot of download, okay. Um, I see a model on the desk. This is not the night, though. Must be just the starter. Play? Ah. The Royal Knighthood. A prestigious group, indeed. Okay. Let's uh, get going here. Snip. 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 All right. Toss. Now the question is, can I get this guy in my collection back at home? I don't know if there's a way to like transfer this out of the holodeck. Let's just uh, do a quick paint job here. Oh no, I got to file down, file down. Right. Um, you, you, you. Okay. So, um. Let's start with the sword. Gonna give it red. It's freshly stained from the knight's enemies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Fresh from the battle. Got the shield. Let's go. For the shield, let's go loud and proud. Pink shield. Yeah. I've always been a fan of pinks and purples, not sure why. I find them a pleasing palette. Uh, can I open these drawers? No, I can't, okay. Oh crap, I, <laughs> the color reset. Um, can I just paint over it again? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that sensitive grip again. Uh, 
Good enough for me. Um, where does the shield go? If ah, okay. And finally, the royal helmet. Um, let's go green, I guess. For camouflage, he can be a forest knight. Oops. And if it's gonna be camouflage, it's gotta be, it's gotta have a camouflage pattern. So let's, um, a little bit of brown. Yeah, some real camo going. Camo knight. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you could do a lot more painting on the base, which I won't do today. All right. Camo Knight with the blood sword. Is there a way to get this in my bedroom? If I go to uh, exit, can I get, take it with me? Holding it. I'm holding it. No, and it looks like my collection shelf reset anyway from the car I had, so. Okay, I thought this would be like, assemble your collection. It doesn't seem to. Okay, I got one more in me. What should we do here? We got the alien. Got a building. We got a tank tread scene. Let's try the tank tread scene. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I forgot it all the populates. Oh, and we get a ground plane. Okay, that's neat. Um... Where would a house go on here? Okay. Yeah, a scene like this, I'm just kind of blindly guessing where things plop on, but it seems to just automatically do it for me. So yeah, for just a dollar, I feel like it's getting the job done. Obviously, the tool set is limited and it's a little clunky here and there. It'd be nice if you could build your collection, but um, if you just want to take your time and slowly paint, you could totally do that. And it's just a buck, so green tank. Yeah, I do wish, I do really wish there were more brush options, like a way for a deeper brush to do um, holes better and such. That would be nice, I will say. But hey, with all the models here, if you wanted to very intricately paint these, this could definitely fill a day, I'd say. weird when I was painting one side it looks like it was automatically painting the other side yeah huh. there's some kind of a mirroring mirroring thing going on I'm painting the one side of the tread and the other side fills in huh that's weird all right I'll make this a camo tank just like the night yeah camo tank you'll never see it coming probably hear it though so I guess that's pointless <laughs> oh I forgot the treads can I do that after the fact I forgot the treads one two okay yeah uh, I forgot the treads phooey oops sensitive grip yeah the treads especially it'd be nice to have a wider deeper brush because you can see how I'm I'm just leaving tiny dots compared to something like that, you know? So, more even painting would be nice. <laughs> Masterful. Masterful creation. Alright, add this to our collection, even though it'll reset. Yeah, so this has been Model Kit Simulator VR. Just a buck, and I feel like for the price, uh, I feel like it's a decent value. I mean, uh, I've gone over all the things I wish there were, but it functions well enough, and if you want to take your time painting tiny models, uh, for a dollar, uh, this really fits the bill. 
And if the workshop grew, that could be really wild. Uh, right now there's three models, but if more and more models showed up, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Thank you for joining me. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.